Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. I want to do a quick video to talk about spin tyres. How do you play spin tyres in 2022 or is it even possible? Because if you were to come over to Steam and you go to the store page of spin tyres, you will see there's nothing there because it's unfortunately been removed due to some legal issues. Um, the legal issues are between Ovi who originally made spin tires and then Sabre who then went on to make Mud Runner and Snow Runner. So those legal issues are why it's been on and off Steam a fair bit. So if the game is not on Steam, are you still able to buy it and play it? The answer is actually yes. I would recommend if you want to do that you go to Gamersgate because Gamersgate is a very legit store and you can see they have the keys available and they even have the keys for quite a few of the, the DLC and things like that um, so and it's all available and in stock and then you will be able to then redeem the keys on Steam and you may be asking, well, this game actually came out in like 2014, it's been on and off Steam, so is it still a viable game to play? Is it still active? Well, you can see that it still has a workshop, and when you go in that workshop, there are still actually people that are making mods. These ones are only for vehicles on the workshop, but you can see there's quite a few vehicles here that were made recently. Um, as well as that, as well as that, um, you can see here there are still people that are making maps. So I'm actually using in today's video. I'm actually making. I'm actually using this map here, which was made on the 11th of June of this year. This map was made on the 6th of June, the 12th of May, 4th of May. So you can see that there are actually people that are making maps, and they're still pretty good. Okay, so I've shown you how to buy the game and that the game is still fairly active. Now I'm just going to show you the game works. So, as you can see, I've got my little modded truck loaded up here. And I'm going to just show you a quick trip. This is on the modded map that I showed you earlier. Um, and we're going to just head up to get some logs so, so you can see a bit of the map. scenic journey across most of the map it's like from one side of the map to the other pretty much and now okay that's good okay break off that's, that's off road and it is now the daytime let me zoom out so you can see the map in all its glory I mean for a, a modded map it's pretty decent and I kind of like that whoever made this map has made it reasonably challenging, right? Like it's not a walk in the park. There's a few bridges that are quite tricky and things like that. And it has that, that nice kind of Russian countryside vibe to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Which is kind of cool. And you see that I've got my little trailer at the back, so my idea is to go and load up with some logs. And yeah, so as you can see, the game's running fine. I am getting a solid 60 FPS on my computer, and I don't have like a, a total powerhouse of the computer. I think I've got like a Ryzen 5 and a 270Ti, you know, so it's not bad, but it's not like the top end, absolute top end, and it's running great. I've won. I suppose that is the advantage of having a slightly older game. I think this game came out in like 2014, I think. So it's been a while, but it's still kind of nice, so I'd like to go back to this original off-roading game spin tires where it all began. I remember when this first came out and like the mud physics were quite revolutionary. 
Revolution then. Kind of started this whole genre, didn't it? Whoops, it would help if I was on the road, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, so this is um this is one of the bridges up here that's quite tricky to go over. I tried it once in a big truck and I got totally stuck, so um, yeah, maybe I need some lighter vehicles to go over there. And then the uh, sawmill, whatever you call it, is over here. Lumber yard, you'd probably call it a lumber yard, wouldn't you? One other thing that I'll say is um, you can still play multiplayer on this game, but it, it's not perfect. Sometimes you might have some slight issues. I know that when I played this a bit with Simulator Adventures um, a while back, we were having some kind of minor annoyances with the co-op with the online but it did work it just had some kind of minor mi minor issues that you have to put up with but personally for me I mean I often just play this game single player it's just a nice relaxing game to kind of cruise along to you could kind of argue that I'm kind of cheating a little bit here because I have this um, modded vehicle fairly often the modded vehicles are quite overpowered shall we say <laughs> so i suppose if you want the real kind of authentic spin tires experience of having to struggle in the mud for hours you should only use the the vehicles that come that, that come with the game right but personally for me i don't really play this game to get stuck in mud for hours, so I don't really mind using these slightly OP modded vehicles. I just like seeing the environment, seeing the different maps, cruising about, doing some deliveries. And I think, you know, this game for me is a really good kind of antidote to a game like SnowRunner. SnowRunner, they've they've added so much stuff into that that game, so that a map has so many activities that you can do and it will literally take you many 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 hours for you to finish everything on a, a map which is you know really great but sometimes I, I kind of want to go back to something a bit more simplistic you know so it is kind of nice sometimes just to go back to this kind of bit more simpler version if you know what I mean it's just unlock the map and then try and do the deliveries then you're golden you know okay let's go back here to this one do these deliveries over here Oops, one button. Okay, let's do this. So yeah, I mean, you know, I do really like Snow Runner. I play that game as well, but this game just is a good antidote. It's you know, a bit of a hark back to a simpler style of game, really. It's probably going a bit too fast there, considering I've got loads of logs now. Never mind. You survived. This vehicle is a bit of a beast, isn't it? It's tearing it up. It's kind of cool, right, when you're watching your truck go through this crazy mud. It's 
bit is a little bit tricky with all the loads. You've got to be careful not to veer off. Totally stuck. So yeah, something, something a bit lighter might do the job. I suppose this might be okay if I I don't use the trailer. Maybe that might help. Anyway, I'll try that later. See that we've got some barges in the water. It's kind of cool. kind of makes me wonder how these people actually are able to make maps in this game. I wonder how hard it is. But certainly whoever made this map has done a good job. We've got some stuff floating in the water here. <laughs> Looks like a port or cabin that's kind of seen better days. Whoops, and I'm not paying attention. Damage and logs flying everywhere. That's not good, is it? So there is certainly a bit of challenge to this map. Especially when you're not paying attention. Okay, so my trailer got completely stuck in the mud, so I've had to let that go. I'm going to carry on without it. Maybe I'll have to come to pick that up later. It got totally stuck there. Didn't want to spend hours um, on video showing me struggling so just um, yeah, restarting now you see we got more casualties up here from my wonderful experiences of off-roading <laughs> so that's another trade I'm going to have to come up and recover at some point I'm going to have to do some recovery jobs I think we're good with this this thing without the trailer. So maybe I was being a bit impatient having the trailer as well. Maybe I should just go for a more slow approach. See, we have these interesting glowing flowers on the map. Not quite sure what's happened to my line. Oh, my line's messed up, but that's fine. Because it's quite easy now to just follow this to get to where we need to deliver the logs. Not quite as many logs as I would have hoped. Hey ho. Let's put the full beams on. Light up our way a bit better. Now it's getting dark. Okay, let's do some delivery. There you go, so yeah, so Spin Tires is a game that you can play in 2022. You can see it's running really well on my computer. You can still access the game. There are still modders out there that are making vehicles and maps. So if you're interested in the, these kind of games, why not give it a try? So thanks for watching this video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.